Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another day of footmas is coming today. I want to look at some possible SBCs and objective players that we could get today on FIFA Ultimate Team and look at some other possible SBCs we could get as well. This is day five of footmas. We are expecting the Uruguay nationality and um, one of the teams uh, from, I think it's Athletical, Bilbao, Everton, um, but we kind of already know who it is, right? Because these SBCs, um, people know the schedule now. I mean, this happens almost every year with Footmas. We end up figuring out which SBCs are going to be coming out via leaks. There are leaks almost every single year for these SBCs. I mean, FIFA 18, they had the whole squad. They had to rechange the score. Was it FIFA 18? Yeah, FIFA 18, they had the entire squad of Footmas. It got leaked. So then they changed some of the players. Last year, we knew some of the players. And now this year, again, uh, people knew that today, Marillo and Rashford were coming. It was leaked. So according to those same leaks today, for number five, we should be getting Cavani and Inaki Williams. Uh, I'll show you guys a quick graphic over here on Twitter um, that I found on Twitter. This is for Inaki Williams and Cavani, I think with decent boosts. Um, Inaki Williams could be a really sick card, right? I mean, this is a card that could really get into a lot of people's teams if it is a good value striker card. Two striker cards is kind of interesting in my opinion. Um, if EA is actually going to follow these leaks. Now, I'd be really curious to see if they know that we have caught on and if they were able to go out and change it up fast enough so that we would not get either of these two SBCs. Now, if they do change it up, we haven't gotten many Premier League SBCs, except for today we got Rashford. But other than that, we haven't got many Premier League SBC cards during Footmas so far. Um, so maybe if they do end up changing it up, instead of Anaki Williams, they could very well go with somebody from Everton uh, as the SBC that we could get today. So again, um, it's it's looking like it's going to be Inaki Williams and Cavani today. It really is. Could be any other Uruguayan and then like, uh, you know, Everton or Atletico Bilbao. I think there's a couple other teams there as well. But we haven't got as many um, Prem or La Liga SBCs. We've gotten mostly Serie A, a couple Bundesliga, and some Ligue 1. I mean, the, the La Liga and the Prem have been kind of spared so far for a lot of these SBCs. So... Um, also today, I do believe that we are going to get another objective because they said we're getting six objective players and this is a countdown of 12 days. And so far we've gotten these, uh, Tiago Mendez and, uh, Bauman every other day. So we are on pace for another objective player today. Both of these players, uh, center defensive mids in their respective leagues. So I'm thinking it's probably possible that we get somebody from the Bundesliga this week, uh, this time around. So again, it's probably going to be Bundesliga if we're getting a, a League 1 SBC and a La Liga SBC. I would say that it's very possible it's a Bundesliga objective player, just, just kind of my guess. Um, and there are a couple, you know, when you're thinking of objective players, who, who is somebody that could get into objectives? I think this would be a guy that a lot of people would want in objectives and somebody, a lot of people would want to grind towards this uh, because this would link to the uh, past expired Witzel SBC, which I know a decent amount of people did because it was good value uh, just because it was actually cheap for a decent card. Uh, but if you give this guy, you know, um, a foot miss boost, we're talking 83 to 85 you will he'd probably have above 80 pace. He might have like 85, 86 defending, 83 physical. Um, this could be a really, really good card that a lot of people would go and try to get from objectives, especially because of the Mbabu that it, a lot of people have as well. That road to the final Mbabu, which got upgraded. Um, a lot of people are using that, and he's a very, very good card in this game. I've played against him, and he's a beast, honestly. Um, so this would be like a very nice choice from EA, right? This would be a, a card that a lot of people would like to use. And I think a lot of people would go and complete that objective, even if they made it kind of hard, because I know people that have gone out and done Bauman and have done um, Tiago Mendez already. So this would be an added boost to the objectives, I think, if EA would like to put that out. So those are kind of the predictions for today. Of course, it's not really a prediction, right? I don't want to spend too much time talking about it because it's like a leak, man. We already know that it is coming. So I want to talk about the rest of the stuff that could be coming today. Are we going to get any more Footmas Challenge SBCs? We got these two SBCs the first two days, and since then we haven't had any pack supply. Now, uh, during Team of the Group stage, we didn't get any pack supply on Monday as well. So if you guys are trying out um, any of these new um, Team of the Year nominee cards, I would be very hesitant with them uh, tonight as we head into nighttime because they didn't really get any supply today. And all it takes for these cards is literally just one SBC, right? All it takes for these is one SBC. 
uh, and they're getting supplied on the market because they have very high pack weight. Allison's about 110 right now, which is up from where he was in the middle of the day. He was around 100,000 coins, I believe. Uh, even this morning, he's around 100K. Um, so if you have any of these cards right now, I have a couple Sterlings that I bought at like 125-ish because uh, right when Rashford came out, I went out and I got a couple of Sterlings because I wanted to see if he could uh, possibly rise up in the hype after Rashford. And it looks like right now Sterling is 130. So he's about the same. I'm trying to offload those for like 140 or so, which there's, you know, these cards are still kind of rare, to be honest. We haven't had lightning rounds with these. And if you look at Sterling's at 140, there's four of them, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's only nine Sterling's in the, within the hour at 140. So these cards are kind of hard to find for some people. So I do think I could probably get a few sells there. If not, I can probably break even after tax selling it just over like 135. Maybe we'll see if we can get some sales there uh, on those. But if you guys do have those in your team, if you're trying them out or whatever, I would say that uh, I'd be very, very careful with them. Again, those new team of the year nominee cards, I would be very, very careful um, because if there is a pack supply SBC today, which I think there will be because uh, again, can I get Frankie here? That's what I'm trying to find. Frankie de Young. There we go. Uh, last week during Team of the Group stage, there were no pack supply SBCs on Monday. And then Tuesday, we did get pack supply. So I would assume that we're going to get more pack supply SBCs today. We haven't had a Footmas Challenge SBC since Saturday. So I do think that it's very possible we get another one of these SBCs today for uh and then these cards are going to get packed and then that, that'll also be a last minute supply for this week's team of the week if you want to invest in any cards from this week's team of the week i'm kind of a fan of wabi saka to be honest with you um i mean this is a this is a pretty solid right back card in the prem at right around fifty thousand coins which he is actually up a little bit okay 50 51 52k if you see this card for like in the 40s i'm a, i'm a big fan of it especially tomorrow being tuesday the last day this guy's in packs um, you know, maybe snagging a couple of this guy, if you can, in the 40,000 coin range, maybe like 45 K. I think that could be a riser out of packs because this week's team of the week doesn't have a ton of supply. There were some, uh, pack supply SBCs that came out, um, when this team was in packs during group stages. Um, but there weren't lightning rounds and that's really key for a team of the week. When there's not lightning rounds, then usually, uh, those cards are a bit more rare on the market. And we like that in terms of investing out of packs and stuff like that. So obviously a right back footmas card from the Prem or a very cheap right back card could hurt um, a card like that out of packs, but that's kind of my thought there. That's a decent card. If you want to invest in this week's team of the week, that would be a decent one to put some money into. Other things we could see today, player of the month, Timo Werner. Uh, as I'm recording this right now, Serge Gnabry is set to expire in a few hours. The voting is over, uh, but it really it doesn't even need to be contested. To be honest, it really does not need to be contested. Timo Werner should be winning this month's player of the month for the Bundesliga. His inform has been panic sold off. Uh, I think he's down under 190 now. Yeah, he should be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People know it's coming. So this car was at 180 something, like 180 flat at his lowest. Ooh, 177 right now. So I do think you're going to see some more panic on this card into the morning as the award is announced. The SBC should come out and you'll see more panic on this card. And of course, it's going to be another situation where this is going to be, this is one of the most popular cards in the Bundesliga because of the pace, right? Uh, Werner is the pacey striker in the Bundesliga so far. Um, that's kind of the option that we have in FIFA as our striker from the Bundesliga. Getting a player of the month, I assume a lot of people will do this SBC if it is fairly valued. Um, you know, especially because he's just a popular player in this game. He fits the meta. Another dribbling boost is going to put his balance, hopefully around 80 ball control and reactions are going to be close to 90 composure is going to creep up towards 80. He'll, he'll, uh, peak over 90 finishing his stamina will get close to 90. So, um, with a decent upgrade, this card could be a really, really solid card. And I'm hoping they give him a plus two player of the month, a plus two player of the month would be sick. And if they make this SBC somewhere around like 300,000 coins, I think a lot of people would go out and do it because that would be a better value SBC than we have gotten so far during footmas, right? Um, so, I mean, of course, we did get the rash for today, so that is a striker, but this SBC being uh, around 250,000 coins for a an upgrade that was mostly in dribbling and physical or passing and physical, one of the two, uh, is just kind of BS, to be honest. Just uh, when you're going to upgrade these, these cards, EA, just please upgrade them in the stats that matter, like shooting and uh, pace and maybe dribbling, but I don't know, man. These uh, Footmas SBCs have been very confusing. If you're uh, running a Syria team, like full out Syria, then this card might not be a bad shot for you. Um, but you know, 50k, 
Not terrible. If you did Quadrado, maybe you get a card to link with him. That's a fun type card, right? That's a fun type card, but not a must have. Nothing near a must have card. The other thing that I want to talk about today is uh, dealing with Road to the Finals. Uh, I'll actually show you my transfer list first. And I tweeted some of this out this morning when I woke up and I saw the UCL draw was, was over. It just ended. There was a lot of panic selling on some of these Road to the Final cards. Now, I didn't really pick up enough of them. I think I still have a Sancho left selling at around 165 if I can get a bite there. I bought this Militel at 515, sold it at 600. A little bit of a lazy buyer, I believe. I think it had a shadow chem style on it. But he was 510k, even a little bit under that earlier today. We go and look at some graphs on Footbin. A lot of these uh, Road to the Final cars either shot up right away or they went down a bunch early on in the morning due to the panic from... Uh, the draws, right? Because uh, Real Madrid, you know, basically why these went went down was because they drew good teams, right? So I think Real Madrid drew City uh, and th this morning. Uh, that's why you saw this huge drop. But, you know, these cards are so rare. And that, that's what I said when I tweeted it out. I said, uh, I showed a picture of Cavani and I said, boys, if you're trying to invest in some panic, there's some panic on the market right now in this area. These road to the finals are dropping based on some, some of their matchups. Uh, and, it, you know, understandably, right? Manchester City is a good team. Real Madrid's pretty good too, though. So I knew there would be some sort of a rebound on this card. 570 right now at the moment. I got a little bit lucky with my Selix at 600, actually. But he reached 506 at one point. Uh, and as we look at some of these other cards, I look at Sancho as well. Um, this is a card that I picked up today just because I saw the percentage of his drop, and it was crazy. He was 184, 187, down to 133. I bought two of them. I bought three of them at 130, actually. Uh, and he's all the way back up to like 158. And he's actually 160 now. So he's continuing to rise up. Um, let me look at one card that shot up right away. Whoa, they upgraded the... They finally upgraded the price range on this Mane card to 3 million. Wow, and somebody undercut big time there for a mil. Crazy. That's a very interesting price on this card right here because so many people are sniping him. Uh, when did this up price upgrade happen? It happened like midnight tonight. Okay, interesting. Uh, I would just be careful with this card because he's got a player of the month right now, which is 843k, which is a better version of this card. So if you sniped him for 500k, take your profit, but there's probably a lot of people listing right now to try to get sales and take their profit on those cards that they sniped since his price range was uh, drastically set down to 500k for really no reason, which is really crazy. But um, I want to look at Shaman's son because... A lot of people thought that Tottenham got an easy draw today, which uh, I don't think any team you're going to be playing in Champions League is easy. But he went from about 1455 all the way up to 17, and I actually did see him at 1.8 million because people saw their draw against uh, Leipzig, and they're like, okay, Spurs can beat them, right? So they bought this card up, went up 300,000 coins, and now it's kind of trickled back down just a little bit higher than what it was before. So that was the deal with these Road to the Final cards today. Uh, there's a lot of interesting market movements because of those. And some of them are still pretty low, right? Like Conte was almost 800,000 coins flat. So he's up a good amount. Allen was under 300 K. So he's up some Mares was, I think 150 or 160 at one point. Um, was he Mares went low at one point today, but he, they had the quote unquote, um, more favorable matchup. Yeah. He, he did go down 156 back to 190 where he kind of is right now. So again, that's, I, I probably didn't inform you guys really like good enough on, on some of this, but if you guys are guys that watch the market a lot and you watch a lot of these prices, um, I honestly wasn't, uh, I wasn't thinking that the impact on these cards would be this heavy. Um, but you know, there was a big drop in this market right now. It's just full of people who do not want to buy cards. So it kind of made sense why those cards were panic sold because people just want to get their coins. Right. And you know, some people are still holding these cards from when they bought them like the first week they came out and they're making coins on them. So people were happy with the money, I guess. And they took the money and now Militao is right back at 570. So if you guys missed the buy window today on these cards, there's probably going to be some more panic, right? And there's probably going to be some more adjustment of these prices as we get towards team of the year. Uh, these cards are kind of going to get forgotten about a little bit because they're not going to be upgraded until February. But I want to start getting this in your guys' minds. And it's good to know that the first game of the knockout rounds, the first game, right? Literally, it's a two, it's a two leg game between two teams. So Real Madrid and Manchester City will play two games, right? Two legs. Whoever wins the first leg will get an upgrade. And whoever wins total 
will get an upgrade as well. So Militao could be in for a double upgrade, okay? That's one thing that I think is misconstrued a lot with these Road to the Final cards. Um, is that, let me show you the graph. Um, I want to show you guys the graph of these upgrades because it's something that um, a lot of people need to know. Is this the upgrade right here? It is. It is, it is, it is. Can I get the picture on this FIFA, please? Road to the Finals. Road to the Finals. Here it is on, on EA's website. So the event launch, Sancho 86. Qualify for knockout stage. We have already gotten this upgrade. So we are basically right here. We are right here. They win the first knockout game. Boom. They go up one, and then if they go on, if they win that uh, the, through the, the first leg, if they go to the next round, the quarterfinals, so this is game one, literally the first game in February, if they win that game, they will get an upgrade, and then if they move on past their first op opponent in the knockouts to the quarterfinals, they will be in for another upgrade. And this is like the quickest two upgrades for these Road to the Final cards, uh, to be honest. These will be like the quickest two upgrades for these cards. I just want to kind of let you guys know about that. That's going to be like the quickest part. They're going to get upgrade, boom, boom, like a couple weeks in a row uh, because of how quick those games are. Then there'll be a little bit of a waiting time until the, the quarterfinals, qualifying for the quarterfinals, qualifying for the semis, then the finals, and then of course the winner will get an upgrade as well. So I just want to talk about those road to the final cards today because they moved a lot on the market and uh, it was honestly a great time to pick up a panic selling, right? Uh, th there's a lot of people that like to panic sell cards this year for whatever reason. Um, and of course, you know, we see other strikers that could be down a little bit today. I was looking at Michael Owen. I was looking at, um, oh, who's the other, who's the other icon? He's on my transfer targets right now. A couple of these icon strikers, Shearer, a couple of these guys were down today because of the Rashford SBC because the Rashford SBC is priced very similarly to these cards. And so maybe somebody with one of those cards in their team wanted to go out and replace him with Rashford. So that's just something that you have to keep an eye on. The, the, uh, the substitute goods in FIFA are definitely a trading point. Ooh, that was a decent deal. 227 for Schmeichel. You can sell that around 250. Um, so yeah, that's uh, something to look out for. Again, as every day we have footmas SPCs come out, right? So like, let's say today we get a Naki Williams. Last talking point for this video. Let's say today we get a Naki Williams. Um, what kind of cards could take a hit? Maybe Scream, Iago Aspas. Maybe um, another striker. You know, we did. We had people that did the Morales uh, Player Moments SBC. If he was on the market, that would be a card that might take a hit in price. But uh, maybe Kevin Gamero is a La Liga striker. And of course, if it's a very, very cheap SBC, you might see strikers from other leagues take a hit as well. It's kind of like the Jamie Vardy Player of the Month effect. If it's a very, very cheap SBC, you might see more people panic sell because of that SBC and it being cheap, and they just want to put that card in their team. So again, Inaki Williams and Cavani coming today, if nothing else changes according to the leaks. Another objective player, hopefully a pack supply SBC, and uh, more probably non-hype uh, footness content. To be honest, I hate to be a deb, but it's just honestly looking like um, this promo is just kind of eh so far. So we'll see. Hopefully it changes. Uh, and I wanted to kind of um, um, inform you guys and update you guys on what happened with those Road to the Final cards today. All right, boys. It's been Nate. If you like the video, just let me start there. If you like the video, smash a thumbs up on it, all right? Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.